so I've decided to put something else in it as well. And of course I can't keep hold of it, which is typical. Hiya, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Toon Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to be trying out another product from Let's Resin. Now they very kindly, kindly sent me a few more products to try. Again, I haven't tried any of them. I don't know why. I do try a lot of Let's Resin things, as you may know in the past. Anyway, they sent me three items. I'm going to choose one of them. And yeah, let's see where I get on with this one. So Let's Resin kindly sent me some more products to try. They sent me a mould, some UV resin and some silicone rubber. So which one am I going to choose first? Silicone rubber? No, I had to try the UV resin. I have a love-hate relationship with UV resin. I hated it for such a long time because I couldn't get it to cure properly. And the reason for that was I didn't have a strong enough lamp. Once that was salted, I really liked it. In this huge kit, you get two big bottles of UV resin. You get a little measuring cup, you get a little stir stick, and you get the two lids and a nice leaflet of instructions. So the first thing I want to do is to see how crystal clear the resin is. So bear in mind, you still have to use a respirator because the fumes, even though you might not smell anything, or oh, not very nice. So always put a respirator on when you're using resin. So I'm pouring some of the UV resin onto a Druzy piece. Now the Druzy was purchased from Art for Start. She has a YouTube channel, but she's big mostly on Instagram. So I'll put her link in the top right hand corner and in the description below if you're interested in buying Druzy molds. Hers are fantastic. I just thought I'd put that in there because a lot of people keep asking me. So. Juicy moulds, art for start, that's where I got them. But there are plenty of people that make them. Anyway, getting back to what I'm actually doing. I've decided to pour this UV resin onto a juicy mould and I'm just poking all the little points to make sure there's no trapped air in the points. I then go over the top with a long neck lighter just to get rid of any surface bubbles there may be before I pop it under the lamp. Now this is a good UV lamp. I bought it from House of Resin in the UK and the link will be in the description below. So I did leave it underneath the lamp for about five minutes. Now I know you're not meant to or you shouldn't have to but I always do that and as this is in a mould just to be sure I turned it upside down and put it under the lamp for about two minutes on the underside. So at this point I knew it was cured. I popped it out of the mould and it is crystal clear completely see-through, absolutely beautiful, picked up all the details and yeah, I'm impressed. So the next test is gonna be color and to make it a little bit more tricky, I'm not gonna use Let's Resin Color. I'm gonna use J Diction Color and I've got magenta, purple, blue and white. And the plan is to add a little drop of color into the UV resin, mix it together and to put it into another Druzy mold and to cure it. Now, when you've got color in UV resin, the light doesn't travel through so well. So it needs to be kind of translucent to be able to cure. If you make it too opaque, the light won't get through it and the only thing you'll cure is the top. As usual, I speed a lot of this video up so that you don't miss anything, but you don't have to sit through the boring bits. Onto the purple, roughly the same amount. I'm not measuring the amount of resin I'm putting in these tubs. I'm just eyeballing it. But I'm only putting one drop of color in each. And there's not much resin in here. It's literally just a little bit at the bottom. So one drop of color, it's about the right amount. So once I've done all four colors, then I get my Druzy molds out. And the plan is to just make multicolored crystals. So that's what I start to do. And just dripping the UV resin into the mold, hoping it goes down into the patterns. I do actually stick a cocktail stick in to try and dislodge any bubbles. And then I decide later that the lolly stick is just good enough. 
So I'm just making pretty patterns with my crystal druzy moulds. And even though there's only one drop of colour in these, the colour is really bright and they're super cool colours. The reason I chose the white was because it's more opaque than the other colours. White is by nature opaque. And although there's only one drop of colouring in there, I did wonder if it would cure okay. Once that was all done, a quick flick with the long neck lighter and under the lamp it goes. I gave them five minutes to cure and I decided that was enough. Enough was enough and they are fully cured. Shiny and solid. They are completely solid. No stickiness, absolutely amazing. And the colors are really quite vibrant. Like I said, one drop of color. The white you can see is definitely the most opaque and that's cured beautifully. So I thought enough with the test. I need to actually make something out of this. So I had a request from a friend of mine for a phone grip that was more masculine than feminine. And I looked through the collection I'd made and I didn't have any. So I asked him what would he prefer and he couldn't come up with anything. So I decided football. He supports a popular team. So I am making him a phone grip with football in mind. So if you are a football fan or know somebody who is, this one might be relevant. I put a clear layer of UV resin at the base and I've cured it. This is a layer of white in UV resin and it's a really, really thin layer. Now, as I said before, I wanted it white and as it's opaque, it'll only cure the top. So eventually I can turn it over and cure it properly through the bottom. But for the moment, I'll just be curing the top. So it has to be thin. A quick touch with a long neck lighter and under the lamp it goes. I did give it two coats and once that was done, it was time to put a cricket cut football. Now this was a little bit difficult to locate because it was only just smaller than the opening of the mould. So it took a few attempts, but I managed to get it in the right place eventually. And once I got it in the right place, I used the silicon tool to push it down to make sure it was flat. Then I removed the transfer film and it looked amazing. It was just black. That's all it was, black on a white background. Stunning. I then gave it a clear coat of UV resin, very thin, just to seal in the football and to give kind of a 3D effect for the next layer. But he wasn't just going to have a football. A football, yeah, it would suit some people, but I won't stop there. So I've decided to put something else in it as well. And of course I can't keep hold of it, which is typical. Now, I don't support football, I don't watch football, I don't follow football, so I have no idea about teams. But I did buy a key ring that was for this person and with it came a little tag. It was an official key ring and on the back it had its own logo. So I thought I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to use it. <laughs> it's plastic coated so I don't need to cover it. But all I wanted to do was just make sure I got it in the right place. Maybe off to the side, maybe in the middle. I thought the middle looked better. So I put it in another layer of UV resin popped the lighter over the top and cured it. When it came out of the mould, I did actually go around the edges with a white marker. And I also went around the edges with UV resin, just to seal in the marker. I then scratched up the back so that I could stick it to a scratched up phone grip and stuck it with super glue, making sure it was in the centre. Well, I really enjoyed playing around with that UV resin and the results were stunning. If you're wondering what I did with the other two, then hopefully you can see those. I absolutely love them. UV resin is so quick and so simple. And as long as it's cured properly, you can, you can do so much with it. Thanks very much, Let's Resin, for letting me try this out. I absolutely love it and I would definitely be doing more. <laughs> Happy grafting, have a great week and bye for now.